Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from his automation channel. Today, let's see uh, one of the interview question as part of automation. And this is a program where we need to find the duplicates in a given array without using the hash maps. So you know, right, hash maps are the collections concepts. So without using this, we have to find the duplicates within the array. So we will do a simple trick to decode this program. So let's get started. So this is my array. So I'm taking an integer of array. So in this, I have some repeated integers like one and two. So there are repeated integers. So we need to find only those duplicate numbers as part of this program. So for this, we have to use the other concept other than hash map. So for that, I can use a concept of a list first to hold this entire uh, duplicate list. So for that, I will create a list here. So So list integer because these are all our int types. So I'm giving some declaration which is of okay. And I'm using a new object for this and I'm using the array list. So as soon as I get a duplicate item, I will be storing them in as part of array list. So for that I'm taking this array list and this is the one and the next thing is the finding of the actual duplicates so for that we will write a small condition so i'm using a simple for loops here so for loops you all know right so for loops are the easiest way to iterate any item so int i equal to zero because array starts from index zero and i less than array length so array list array list dot length so we have to go to the maximum so from if the array starts from zero and if array list of five items then our array length will be zero to four and i plus plus so incrementing i and again again i'm taking an inner loop as the same for loop so int int j equals zero j even j should be less than of our array length so for that i am taking array length and even i am incrementing j j plus plus and i am opening braces now we should write a simple if condition to do all my iterations and after that i need to find whether my condition is beating or not so for that purpose i need to first check if if array array int array int of i double equals j so if my array of first iterated item versus iterated second item so if my one so for the i is holding of first digit which is one and next digit is another one so let me just change this so here i will add a five here okay five so first digit i is using of one and j is taking five so here my first condition is if one is equal to five so if my one double equals to five or not, that is the first condition I'm checking. And next thing is in the same if condition only, I'm trying to check another condition whether my i, i should not equals to j. So my i and j shouldn't be equal because if I'm on the same number, like if I'm index at zero, if the same index is checking and again, 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 so it will be same number so it will be treated as duplicate number so i shouldn't do that so for that i am taking this condition i is not equal to j and next is if my uh, duplicate list so this array list is already empty or not i don't know it may be having some values but i need to check whether my current values which i am checking is already exist in my array list or not so for that i will use a condition called exclamation and duplicates 
so this will check whether my array is empty or not if that array item has some values whether my values are duplicate with respect to array of iterated item so the iterator item will be i so if my i is already exist in that array list or not so this is a simple condition right now next thing is after all this condition so for loop then if condition then under that if any value which is getting point then i will tell my array list to add this to the list so array list of array int of i right so this is my condition so this is after that at the end of for loop the first for loop duplicate values are then i will concatenate with a list or a list item of duplicates so here we have taken first step at 11th line is we have taken an array list and after that we have used a list to hold my entire array list which i am i am trying to find in the below condition so this is the for loops two for loops one for loop is taking starting from 0th index and the second uh, is starting at again 0th index and i'm checking whether these two are not same so if my 0 of 0 and 0 of 0 are same or not so for that condition i'm checking with if if my i is not equal to j then only we should check if i double equal to j then it will be a waste of use and then if my condition that array of int i and array of int j equals then i should take that value and if my again this array list which is already there it is already having some values so my current value is already exist in that list or not i need to check so for that i'm again checking with this if the condition is met or not then after that if all these conditions are met then i'm adding that value to the array list and i'm printing that array list here so simple technique right so let me execute this program and quickly run it so you can see we have duplicate values are 1 5 and 2 because 1 exists here and 5 2 times 1 is 2 times 2 is 2 times so these are the simple program to find the duplicates without using the hash map hope this small program will help you in cracking this kind of programs if you have any questions queries you can post in my comment section i will help you out thank you for watching